Hi there and welcome back to another video. My name is Monica of Millie and Monica over on Poshmark where I am a full-time seller and today I have part two of my consignment sale thrift haul for you. So if you are at all interested in reseller related content, selling clothing online, and of course making money online, please consider subscribing to this video or this channel if you haven't already. And of course give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out here on YouTube. So why I'm saying this is part two is because part one was all shoes and I'll link that video up above. I'll link it down below so you can go check it out. I wanted to split it up because there was a lot of items and I just want to share the clothing items, which is mostly sweaters, to be real honest, because the consignment store that was having this sale was clearancing out a lot of their winter stuff. So that is why I have mostly sweaters, which may seem strange moving into spring. Like, why would I want to pick up all of these sweaters? Well, it's the middle of February. It is still winter in a lot of the country. I will be wearing sweaters myself for quite a while uh, here in Minnesota. So I purchased 51 clothing items. So I spent $102 on all the clothing items. Uh, it was $2 a item. Minnesota doesn't have tax on clothing, which I don't think I've ever really talked about here on this channel, which may seem like a benefit. Some of you may be jealous. Don't be. Uh, we get heavily taxed on other things anyway. Let's dive into what I picked up at this consignment store. And if you're wondering what is a consignment store, consignment stores are kind of like buy, sell, trade stores. They're places where you can take in your clothing. Um, they usually are looking for specific maybe styles, um, brands. They definitely look at condition. They take all that into account. And they will, consignment stores specifically will take the clothing they'll sell it for you. And once the item sells, then you get a portion, like usually 40 to 50%, uh, but you don't get that money until it sells, which is different than buy, sell, trade, where a buy, sell, trade store is like Plato's Closet, um, Clothes Mentor, Style Encore. They will take the items that they want to purchase from you and give you money um, right then and there. So there's a little bit of a difference uh, between consignment and buy, sell, trade. Anyway, these first two coats that I'm going to share, I absolutely adore. They are uh, very similar in the fact that they're both like a suede leather with this faux fur. This one's really long and it also has like this laser cut detailing. So it's more of a Y2K early 2000s take on kind of a 70s style. And a good way to describe these jackets is a Penny Lane jacket. Um, so this is a new descriptive word or style, I guess, to me, um, but to describe it as a Penny Lane jacket, if you actually Google that, I'll try to put an image in here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And, uh, Kate Hudson paid, played Penny Lane in a movie, which I'll also put in here because I forgot the name of the movie, but it's uh, a jacket that she wears a lot in that movie. And it's a very popular style. So that's the first one. That one was a size medium. Actually, I believe this one is too. And I don't find these very often at the thrift stores. When I do, they're definitely marked up. So I was happy to pay $2 for them. Uh, this one here, again, I picked these up due to style, not so much based on brand, but this one's a sh shorter jacket, more of a cropped. It's got the studded detailing. They both have just minor, minor like wear, but overall really great condition. Um, so excited for these. Now, one of the stores uh, did have like, I went to three stores. So I talked about that in my other video. One of the stores ended up having items that were a little bit more flawed, which I didn't realize till I got home. So in the future, I might just not go to that store based on now. Like it was really hard to see. I didn't notice these flaws in the store, but this is one of the items that is actually flawed. And so I'm just going to keep it for myself because I, the stains like are very faint, but I, I think they're sudden stains. So I think someone tried to remove them just based on how like faint and sudden they seem to be. So I'm just going to keep this for myself. I do really love it. It's a uh, Ann Taylor loft and it's a cardigan, but it's got these great bobbles on it. So bobbles are these here. This kind of like textured piece that kind of looks like a pom-pom, um, but it's called a bobble. So I will just keep this. It's cute on. And this is just a really basic cardigan. I love selling cardigans. They do sell well for me. 
of all styles just because they're so easy to throw on, wear at the office, etc. This one has faux uh, leather pockets on the front, which is a nice detail, and it's a size medium. It, it is kind of oversized, though. The sweater I'm wearing, I should mention, is actually a sweater that I did pick up during this haul. It's by Nine West, and I think I'm going to keep it for a little bit because I super love these oversized boxy sleeves, and it's a little bit shorter cropped length. I'm five foot two, so I like having those a little bit shorter length sweaters because they're more of a normal length on me, which is great. Anyways, this is a pair of Hudson jeans. Now, I don't pick up Hudson jeans often. I guess it's really based on what I find and if they're in good condition and how much the store is asking for them. The reason I don't pick them up very often is because usually they're the low rise and I'm not huge on low rise, which these are, but these have the, the style pocket, which I forget what this style is called. But when I have sold Hudson jeans, this style has done better than the rest. That's why I picked these up and they're a more of a flare-ish style leg, maybe more boot cut. Anyways, they're size 26. So I picked up two of these. So this was a dark pair. And then this is a lighter pair. Very similar. And again, I picked these up based on the pocket. And this pair is a little bit more flared. So I hear flares coming back in. And even though these are low rise, I thought I would give them a go. They're both in really good condition. I think they're both size 26, if I didn't say that already. This one is Banana Republic. It is a wool cashmere blend. I love picking up anything cashmere and this one I particularly love the pink and red stripe I think it's great for spring however it's a little pilly so I haven't uh photographed this one yet because I do need to still sweater shave it so that's what's going on with this one uh Banana Republic again and I believe it's it's a size small it's a little it's a little bit longer length this I think is a great Piece. So I love anything cable knit and kind of chunky, which this is. It's Artisan New York, Nua Tags, and not only is it a turtleneck, it's got cable knit, the fringe sleeve detail, drop shoulder, and then the back is split. So it's got this open split back, which is really nice. Love that piece. And it's a size small, size small or medium, I forget. This piece it's the limited. I picked it up based on style. I love sailor nautical like stripes and, but the anchor is really what caught my eye. So, and it's also kind of got a drop shoulder to it, size medium, but this piece I've listed on both Poshmark and eBay. And I am like absolutely shocked at the amount of views and, um, like watchers it already has on eBay. Like it was really immediate. Um, it hasn't sold yet, but it was just more of a well-liked item. So it is a, a nylon wool viscose blend, but just a really great sweater. So I usually, with sweaters like this, I usually use keywords like nautical, sailor, um, are like two of my big keywords. And hopefully, you know, that gets pulled up in the search if people are searching for that. Uh, this I picked up just because I... I don't know. I liked it. And for $2, some of these are hard to leave behind. So it is just the brand Ruby Moon. It's an extra small. It's kind of more of a, it's kind of got that shark bite hem. So it's like kind of like a shark bite, a little bit high, low, cold shoulder and raw hems. But yeah, I just thought it was a classic cozy style, I guess. This is not a brand I pick up hardly ever, but I did because it was new with tags. And for $2, it's really kind of hard to beat. So it's Lauren Conrad, LC, Lauren Conrad. It did retail for $50, but we'll see how the resale goes. It's this nice pastel pink and blue kind of open knit sweater. It's more of a tunic sweater, so it is longer, size small, and it has a metallic-y weave to it, which I'm not sure if that's picking up, but there is a bit of a metallic like silver weave to it. I think this would be great for Easter. If you live somewhere that's a little bit chillier, this would be super cute. This is one of my favorites, and it's mostly because of the fabric content. So this is Cynthia Rowley. Um, I love the tulip. Speaks spring. I think this would be so cute with a skirt. But it is a silk. Where's the tag? Uh, it is 80% silk, 15% uh, cashmere, 3% wool, and 2% nylon. So it's extremely, extremely kind of like luxurious feeling. It is a lightweight sweater. And it just, it doesn't seem to even have been worn, which is nice. Size large, if I didn't say. 
This brand was, I couldn't find a whole lot of information about it, but I'm probably not even going to be able to say it correctly. Anyway, I didn't pick it up because of the brand. I really like the style. I like these long line, like sweater vests and the material content is, um, acrylic nylon, wool, and mohair. So that was kind of my reasoning behind it. I do really like the style. I like wearing it myself. This is definitely something I would wear and might. This, again, style. I, if you've been watching for a while, I definitely am more of a quantity-based seller. I keep around a thousand items in my Poshmark closet. I'm working up on eBay. I'm getting those listings up there, but I sell quantity. And so I... I'm also looking for quality, of course, but I'm I'm not just picking up high-end designer brands. I sell whatever I can find that I like and is in a good condition. So this is Mink Pink, which I haven't found this in a really this brand in a really long time, but I love selling these like ponchos. Um and I really like the design of this one. So it is a one size fits most, and it's got this great fringe detailing to it. So Hopefully this still goes this season. And I also, along that lines, is this cabbie piece. So I really, really like this cabbie piece. Uh, this is can be worn so many different ways. The stock photo that I use, used, I think I used a couple different ones. It just shows the variety that you can wear this. It's like a, kind of the snow leopard print and it's a shrug. So it's completely open. You can wear it as like a scarf. You can wear it as a wrap. You can wear it so many different ways. It's just a great piece. I did pick up this North Face piece, which I don't pick up North Face often either, but I just thought, why not? Why not try North Face again? So I'm always willing to try out a brand at the right price. You know, a lot of people will say, oh, it doesn't sell, it doesn't sell, but maybe the price point isn't right, or maybe they're paying too much for it and then they want too much for it, etc. So for the right price, I'm willing to try things out for myself. This is a new tags and Taylor. This is kind of, again, a longer line uh, sweater, but it's sleeveless, which is a great layering piece. I talk about these all the time that I love them and own a few in similar styles, but I like the brown of this one and it's got the little split at the bottom. And I think it was a wool blend as well, but I don't remember now. So the tag's been kind of torn, but it's still on there. This is a Victoria's Secret, like, boat neck sweater, fair isle striped, and it's very heavy. It's kind of an oversized fit, a cotton, I believe. So it's just a really heavy, nice knit sweater. And yes, 100% cotton, and it's a size small. Definitely could fit a medium, just because it's a little boxy and oversized. I love the pastel of that too. This is a Banana Republic Factory Petite Medium, uh, kind of like a coat again. So it definitely reminds it's heavier. So it could be worn as like a spring, fall, like jacket, uh, sweater jacket, and it has side pockets and then this faux fur, flex fur front to it. And then the back is just a heavy knit. So it's very nice. It's just open front, so it doesn't close. This is another one of my favorites. So this is Apartment 9, but I love this print. So it's, again, kind of that leopard um, print to it. It's got sequins and this raglan sleeve. Lightweight sweater. Perfect, again, for spring. Pair it with a cute skirt, and that would be nice. It's 100% acrylic, but it just it does feel really good. Again, this is a style-based pick. I could not find much on this this particular brand, but I think it's sold at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. Regardless, I absolutely love the the color scheme of this. It kind of it gives me a ra rainbow striped uh, <laughs> look to it with all the different colors in there. Uh, very great for spring. Another one that would be lovely for Easter. It's 100% acrylic, and it does, again, have kind of a high-low hem, which is very flattering, I feel like, on most people. This is a great just piece, Loft by Loft, and it's a size small. I love this balloon puffy sleeve, a little bit of a drop sleeve, boat neck, and then our little embroidered piece on there, which would have been great for Valentine's Day had 
I really had this up sooner, but uh, Valentine's Day is just in a few days. So fortunately, it probably won't be there in time for that, but it'll still be great this spring. This is Athletic Essentials as a size medium. And I just love these like compression pullovers for like running or, you know, going to the gym or whatever. But this piece is actually really interesting to me because I feel like it's rare that I find an athletic piece that has such long sleeves. So these sleeves are incredibly long. Um, and so if you are a tall person and have a hard time finding athletic wear that has long enough sleeves for you to actually use the thumb holes, this would be the piece for you because uh, the sleeves are so incredibly long. Meant for a tall person, but I do like this style a lot. That's like weird details that I pay attention to is like, how long are the sleeves? Like, would someone who's tall be able to wear this? I don't know how you would search something like that, but anyway. Another cashmere piece. This one I basically just picked up because it's hard to leave a $2 cashmere when it's in really decent condition. There is light pilling, but overall it's nice and just a classic style, very staple piece, and it's just Joe Fresh, size medium, 100% cashmere. This is a Madewell piece. I did find a couple Madewell pieces. Uh, I just like this as a classic, again, classic style sweater, a drop shoulder, this high low hem, little side slits, and it's kind of a pale purple, which is just a great color. Here's the other Madewell piece, which is, this is a very, very lightweight kind of pullover, um, and it is kind of, I don't know if you can see the print, it's a little bit printed there in the front, I don't really know what the design is, but it's a linen blend, and so it's just very lightweight, I feel like this would be so great in the summer, like, at the beach, if it cools down, you need to throw something on. This would be perfect with a little pair of shorts. And yeah, so lots of sweaters, lots and lots of sweaters. And Taylor, lots of bread and butter. What I love about this blush pink sweater is the sleeve detail. So it kind of cinches at the sleeves. Like you don't have to cinch it, but you can, which is just fun and unique. It does have light pilling, but overall good condition. And I believe it was just like, um, it's a wool and nylon blend, so it does feel nice. This is just a basic career popover piece. I, I think I've sold this print or a very similar print in this brand before. So it's loft, size small. It's just kind of a flowy top. And this is splendid. It's an X small, small, but it is very oversized and kind of flowy. So this open like cardigan sweater piece and a very classic style. Again, this is great for like any time of the year because you never know what the temps are inside buildings and such. Now this piece I had a hard time finding any real information on. Um, it is Brian Emerson. It's 100% cashmere, but it's recycled cashmere. So what I love about this is all there, it's like pieced together, different pieces of cashmere that have been recycled, obviously from other sweaters. And all the colors go together so well, but it's very blocky, like color blocked, with all these different cashmere pieces. So it's just absolutely gorgeous. And it's a tag size, small, medium. I love this little piece down here at the bottom. And so the bottom hem is raw, which it just looks really nice. So it's kind of like an art to wear, but also, how great is that it's made from recycled cashmere. It doesn't get any more sustainable than that. Reselling recycled cashmere. Just, yes, that's amazing. So this is another piece of cashmere. Uh, Talbots, it's pure cashmere, purple, but I do need to sweater shave it a little bit because it's a little pilly on the front. So I'll get that done, but I do really love this purple. And front pockets, so it's a great piece. Now here's a piece that was from that store too that I said had more damaged stuff and I don't know how I didn't realize this, but there's like, this just needs a good washing. So it's, it looks like surface stains of some sort, uh, but this is Lilka or Lyca, it's Anthro brand and I believe it's been a long time since I found this piece or sold anything by this, but I'm not finding the tags, the inside tags, but I believe it's I believe it's Anthro, uh, because I have sold this before, but it's kind of their, like, their line that's more, like, sleepwear, pajama, so this does kind of look like that anyways, but once I get it washed up, hopefully, uh, I think there was, like, an oil spot, so 
Anyways, I need to work on that. But if, if I can't get it out, I'll just keep it for myself. It is a size large, but it'll be like nice, like cozy piece. And a star print. I don't feel like I've found anything star print in a while. Hopefully it's still trending. It was like star print was trending a lot this time last year. So I'm hoping that it's still kind of a thing, but this is a great condition. It's by the brand Marled. And I do see this a lot at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. And it's just a really great piece size medium uh so and it's 100 percent cotton so it's a nice heavy weight to it this is just a cardigan and like i said before i do like selling cardigans this is all funny this is just a really lightweight piece a little bit longer length and it's got this kind of tiered design to it i believe it was a size extra small so if there's anything that you're seeing that you're interested in, you can always kind of describe it down below. Leave me your Poshmark handle and I can tag you in the listing. Or you can just go to my closet and filter by Justin to search the items as well because most of these will be listed or have been listed. So Banana Republic uh, Small. This is just a knit cardigan. Ties at the waist, cinches there, and just a classic style and piece. This next one is actually one that I'm hoping to keep for myself. If it fits, I haven't tried it on yet. It's Banana Republic Factory. It's a size small. And like I said earlier, it, I like the cropped-ish sweaters, especially with the high-waisted jeans. They're just very flattering on my body shape anyways. And this has kind of that raglan sleeve to it, and it's just a nice marled knit. So I'm hoping that I like this. If not, I will sell it. And I do have several more pieces here. Uh, this is like my free people piece. Um, anyways, it is an extra small, but you know how free people is very oversized, but it's kind of like a cropped kimono ish duster sweater. And anyway, it is very like the bohemian style, little fringe tassel -y trim there in the front. Very cute. This is one of my favorites, actually. I just love this print and design. So I've been picking up more and more Chico's re recently. Um, this is a Chico's 2, but it's a cardigan with this great kind of cheetah print and then the floral and has this um, fringe little tie waist to it. So I could not leave this. Just the design is so perfect. I been picking up Chico's more for eBay because I thought it was more of a mature style. Um, I haven't had a whole lot of luck with Chico's in the past on Poshmark, so I kind of stopped picking it up. However, the past few Chico's items that I have purchased thinking that they would sell on eBay have actually sold on Poshmark. So I think it just goes to show that you don't know where things are going to sell and just to, you know, kind of try it <laughs> or keep trying if you think the style is right. Um, style is always important. So this actually is called Style Me is the brand. So Style Me, it's a size large. This is like a chunky stripe, I guess. Color block is a great way to describe it, but it's that fuzzy type material, fuzzier knit, and these great colors, which again are great for spring. So pick this up based on style. I do love a good color block and stripe. So Style Me, it's size large. This is another one of my favorites. So this is again by Loft. Uh, loft size medium with a boat neck and then these beautiful embroidered floral, uh, floral embroidered sleeves with a little bit of a bell uh, there. And so it's just a very, very flattering piece, which I hope will make someone very happy this spring. This is, I don't know if I've ever picked up Wallace. So Wallace is like a J. Crew. Kind of like Madewell, there's Wallace. So this is a, like a little bit older um, style. I think it, the tag is 2012, fall of 2012, but it's still in really great condition. So it's kind of like a schoolboy blazer is what it reminds me of. And I like the contrasting there and it has front pockets, but it's merino wool. So it's just great quality piece that is always a classic staple. This is a BKE which I do pick up sometimes. Uh, I particularly pick this one up because it is a very nice long duster cardigan, open front with the fringe there. So love these cardigans. I just think everyone loves having a good duster around. This next one is a new to me. And again, it's just an example of me wanting to try out a new brand. 
because the price was right. And although comps weren't maybe the best, I want to see for myself. So, you know, if this is going to be a, grad, a good bread and butter for me, that would be good to know. So it's called Neon Buddha. Let me know if you have any experience with this brand, but Neon Buddha, and it just kind of reminds me of like a lag and look style, um, like company where they have like different layered look to it. So this is like a layered kind of roughly hem and this like kind of pinkish color, but I just thought that was fun and unique and thought again, kind of art to wear. So I want to give it to try myself. This is something that I definitely would pick up. Uh, the style and I have picked up the style before so it's just a western style vest and it's kind of It's very soft, but it's not suede. It kind of looks like suede, but it's not so it is like that shirling lined and it has these great Silver buttons. I believe it is a size small. So what was the brand? It is country clothing So I definitely like picking up vests like this Here's another Chico's piece. Now this is a Chico Zero, which they have vanity sizing. So with Chico's, I try, I keep like a screenshot of the Chico's size chart on my phone so that I can add the Chico's size chart to the listing. So I can reference like this is a size zero, which fits like a small. And I just have that all in the listing. It is like a half sleeve, but I just love this cable knit. Great color, this tan color, just a classic staple piece for a wardrobe. And it's a little bit shorter in the front, longer in the back. Love it. And my last piece of Chico's. So I have a zero, a two, and a three. So the three, I think, is equivalent to like a large, extra large. But this piece is just classic, again, style. So this open knit and open front. They're three-quarter sleeve, and it's just a cardigan. So, yeah. Anywho, we got a few more pieces here. This is J. Crew. And I love this piece. It doesn't have a size, unfortunately, like it, that part was cut out, but I think it fits like a medium best probably. It is just a striped knit uh, tank top with fringe there at the bottom. Again, kind of a, that striped nautical um, look style. And yeah, this is a really fun Calvin Klein open knit sweater. Again, it's kind of that chunky stripe color block, but it has like an asymmetrical hem, which I'm not sure if you can really tell, which at first I thought was like really weird on the hanger. I thought it was just hanging weird, but it is just a, a unique hem there. So the side slit's a little bit larger on this side than that side, blush pink and gray and great colors for spring. And then lastly, we have a pair of American Eagle jeans. So these are tag two short. They're the Tom Girl style. And they're just this nice high rise, dark wash, button fly denim. So I do like picking up American Eagle jeans. They're just a great, for the right style, they're a good bread and butter for me. So I hope you enjoyed seeing the rest of the items that I found um, at last week's consignment sale. I hope that if you have consignment stores local to you that you are looking into what type of sales they have coming up because this is definitely the time of the year that they start doing those winter clearances and luckily we still have a bit of winter left to try to sell them. So as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.